Hi all, welcome back to Order 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss composition of a module in Order 16. As we all know, Order module is a set of business logic which helps to enhance the existing functionality or to add some new functionality in order. So, in this video, let's check the components that include in a module. So, let's go to the pie charm. So, in the pie charm, in the order 16 order.conf, I just added a add-ons path of custom add-ons. And in this custom add-ons directory, I have a module, demo module. So, let's check the each components that's inside this demo module. An order module contains a number of elements. And this module name is demo module uh, and which is the technical name of the module. It is in a singular form and the, each module contains two main python files. One is init.py and other one is manifest.py and init.py which is the python module descriptor file that runs from the start of the program which loads each python packages that use inside this module. And then the second file that is manifest.py it is the metadata of the module and this file helps to show the module inside the Odo app list. Let's check in detail about the manifest.py and then in this name we can add the name of the module that is a human readable name of the module and then summary inside the summary we can add a brief summary of this module working and then also in the description we can add the functionality of the module and then the other name and the website URL can be added inside this website. And then if this module have a particular company, we can add its company details. And then category, category means under which category is this module is belong. Currently for this demo module, I just added inside the category of tools. And then version, here we can add the version 16.0.1.0.0. This version is added based on the semantic versioning rule. And in the depends, we can add any other modules which is necessary for this module. If we are inheriting the functionality of default order add-ons, those modules can be added inside the depends. And then data, inside this data, we can add the data files like security files, use files, etc. And then the assets and inside these assets, we can load the JS, CSS and the QF views. If you are need to add some demo files inside this module, that is the files that you need to load on a demonstration mode, those files can be added at here. Then let's go through each component. First one is controllers. They are the web controllers which helps to access the front end and back end actions. It requests from the web browser. It renders the request to show in the website. And in the controllers directory, it contains a init.py python file and then the controllers.py python file. Inside this controllers.py python file, we can add the frontend and backend actions that the request is that we need to load in the website. And then those python files can be imported on the init.py. Next is about data file. Here we can create data.xml files, which can be used to create some records with data. For example, if we need to create some products along with the module installation, those product records can be created inside this data file. Also, the schedule actions and the email templates can be created inside this data directory. And then the next is about demo. And here also we can create demo.xml records, which helps you create some files which is loaded in the demonstration mode. For example, if you need to create some partners, is only for this module or some employees for this module those records can be created inside this demo.xml file and which can be loaded in the demonstration mode then next is our doc file here we can create dot text dot pdf dot ott format files the documents related to this module can be added inside this doc file and then next is about i18 and files which helps for internationalization which helps for the translation of the module for example, if a user's language is Spanish, then he need to change the modules, uh, field, labels, everything to the Spanish. On that case, we can create .po files and then inside this .po files, we can add the Spanish name of particular fields and labels. While we switch the language as Spanish, automatically the fields and the labels get be translated to the Spanish language. And then next is about models. Models, they are the business objects. 
and which can be created in the .py python file which contains a init.py and then a demo.py and inside this demo.py we can create business objects or either we can inherit the current functionality of the Odo with their business objects. And here we can create fields and then this demo.py can be loaded inside this init.py. And then next is about report. The most systematical system which helps for analyzing the growth of the organization can be done using the report. Inside this report directory, we can create both .py python files and then the .xml files. And inside this .py python files, we can add the functionality for the report. And then the .xml files, we can add the templates for each report. And then next is about security files. And the security files helps you set the access for each users on each modules and each models and which helps to add the access rights and then restrictions for each users etc. For example, uh, here we can create ir.model.access.csv which helps to add the access for each models for each users and give the permission and we can add the permission for read, write, create and unread. And if you need to restrict some access for a particular users based on particular conditions, those, sec those security rules can be added inside the security.xml file. And then next is about static file and which is used for web interface and inside this static file we can add both description and src files and inside this description if we need to add some images, screenshots and the index of these files we can add it under the description directory and then src, inside this src we can add css, js, xml and then if we need to load some js files for this module we can load it inside this js folder and if we need to load some CSS files, we can load it under the CSS files and the QWAP views of this module can be loaded inside this XML. And then uh, on the manifest, we can add it under assets with the WebAssets uh, backend and if it is WebAssets frontend, we can add it as WebAssets frontend and then we can load the module name and its path at the manifest.py. Then is about testers. And if we need to add some test cases of our module, that means if we need to check some testers of our each module functionality, those test cases can be added inside this testers folder, which can be along with the init.py and then test.py python file. And in this test.py python file, we can add the test cases and which is loaded inside the init.py. Then is about views. Views are the object views which contains the business objects in the UI. The business objects that we are created in the models.py will be visible for the UI in on using these views. And inside these views, we can add the demo.xml. And in Odo, we contain the different views such as form, list, Kanban, calendar, etc. And those corresponding menu items and actions and then views can be created inside the views.xml. And then next is about the wizard, that means if we need to create some pop windows inside our module, then we can follow its functionality. On that case, those, wiz those files can be created inside the wizard folder. It follows with a init.py and then wizard.py. Inside this wizard.py, we can create the transient models for wizard and then those wizard.py will be imported on the init.py. These are the important components inside a module in Order 16.